Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. This past week, I had a patient in my clinic with a huge volcano erupting granuloma on his toe. This is caused by an ingrown nail going untreated for very long, which turns into a large lump of tissue called granuloma to stop the spreading of the infection. Today, I'm removing the granuloma as well as part of the nail to help heal the infection faster. Please watch to the end when I reveal why this patient waited so long before he came to see me. Let's get right into the video. Okay, we have Salvador here. Salvador, how are you? I'm doing well. <laughs> okay. Your toes not though. No. So you're telling me that you had this... Um, For several months. Several months now, huh? You just didn't take care of it and you took this part off, I was telling him that this is called granuloma. It's your body's reaction to trying to protect yourself because it's getting all infected. So we have to take this granuloma out and then we're gonna have to take uh, part of his nail off to free that up so that the infection will be gone. Okay, you got that? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna take it easy for a couple couple days, right? right. Yeah, we already talked about that. So let me know if you feel anything, okay? So I'm gonna try to free this up a little bit first. Let me see if I can take this part out. This is not dangerous to have, but obviously it's not a good thing, right? Yeah, you can see that there was a little scab and then you're bleeding quite a bit. These granulomas are very, very bloody. So I already kind of try to stop the bleeding, but there's still a lot of bleeding going on. Okay, you see this big, big knot over there. Okay, you don't feel anything, right? Uh, okay. No, only pressure. Only pressure, good, good. So I don't know how you walked around like this, huh? Uh, For months, huh? <laughs> you, you got scared to come to me, right? Is that what happened? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You tell me the truth. It's okay. You feel anything? No. Yeah. So these granulomas are very, very bloody, as you can see. So it's hard to see anything there, but you can see that I'm going underneath and I'm gonna take that nail off and then take the uh, granuloma out at the same time. It's really deep underneath it. So I'm trying to clear the area a little bit. So having this granuloma is not dangerous, okay? Or anything like that, but the problem is obviously it's it's very bloody and it's not good for you. So they got it, so they got it infected? Uh, yes, you have an infection, so that's oh, why, infected. yeah, your body doesn't like it. So it, it's trying to protect you, it's trying to help you. Yeah. Okay, that's why you have this big granuloma sitting there, as you can see, it's very bloody. So is that blood in, in, in skin tissue? Um, yeah, it's just uh, wrapped around the area. It's, it's a granuloma, it's a, it's a benign tumor. So it's very bloody. Anything that grows in your um, body is very bloody, so. Well, as you can see, I am struggling with the tourniquet because it's just bleeding way too much. So I'm putting a new tourniquet on, which is much tighter and be able to hold the blood from coming. So uh, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video so far, leave a thumbs up on the comments below and put granuloma right underneath it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Really bloody here. Okay, now it kind of stopped bleeding a little bit. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, the granuloma is not um, dangerous or anything bad, but it shows that you've had this problem for a long time. So you have to take care of this. Your body's not liking all this that uh, is happening, right? So what's gonna happen is after I take this nail off, you're gonna, you're gonna start soaking it. And then hopefully within about six months, we'll know whether the nail is gonna be growing normal again, okay? If they don't grow normally, then we have to do a permanent procedure at that time so that nail won't grow back from that area anymore, okay? So as you can see, I took the granuloma out and that, that area is very clear now, as you can see. 
and then it's gonna heal over nicely, not a problem. Just have to clean it up a little bit, and I'm gonna put a little antibiotic cream and then I wrap it up. He's gonna start soaking it twice a day, and then I'll see him next week to see how he's doing, okay? All right, Salvador, you feel okay? Yeah, I feel okay. Okay, very good, so that's the granuloma that was taken out. I know it looks uh, dangerous, but it's really not that dangerous. It's just very bloody, okay? Thank you for allowing us to film you today. Uh -huh. Well, thanks for watching this uh, video. He drives, this patient drives for a living, and that's why he didn't have to wear shoes all these months. This is why he was able to wait so long, which I don't recommend you do, because you have to wear shoes and you'll be painful for you, and infection could be dangerous as well. So if you see these very large lumps on your ingrown nail, you should see a foot doctor right away. For more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button right now, and I post educational, or procedure videos just like this one every Sunday. See you next week.